Hey guys, this is Prajwal. In this video, we will be studying. You may already know about sampling theorem. So we are visualizing the sampling theorem in three cases, like under sampling, over sampling, and the right sampling case using MATLAB. This is a fifth sem lab experiment for DSP of electronics and communication. So let's get started. Before getting into the visualization, let me know some of the brief introduction about what is sampling theorem. So what the sampling theorem states that? The sampling theorem states that if a signal, consider this as a signal. So this signal after converting into a sampling state, you may already know what is samples. So samples is all in a discrete time intervals. So this, this signal is called as a sample. So this type of samples can be reconstructed into a virginal signal, something like this. Only there will be some certain criteria. This sample signal can be completely reconstructed back to a virginal signal only when the sampling frequency is greater than or equal to two times of modulating frequency. So twice of its maximum frequency. Band limit signal can be constructed exactly if it is sampled. So this is sampled at the rate of twice of its maximum frequency. So if we consider the maximum frequency value as FM, then the sampling frequency should be greater than or equal to two times of FM. So what happens if it doesn't do this criteria, which means here we will be sampling the signal into we will be doing the sampling without by less than this condition. So which means here Fs will be less than 2Fm. What happens if we do this and what happens if we do very much greater than 2Fm and what happens if we made exactly 2Fm. This we will be studying. So we will be studying and we will be proving all this case. What happens if a signal is sampled at the rate of this, this, this by using MATLAB. Now the entire program is divided into three parts. First one is under sampling and the right sampling case, it's an over sampling. For this, by using MATLAB, we will writing a code by considering these three cases. So before that, what are all the things we need? So basic things I will be writing here. So as usual, you know that CLC, clear all and close all these three syntax and we will take the input like K. K we will take the input as cycles. So number of cycles. I may be mistaking some of the syntax assuming that you may already know. If you are, don't know how are the syntax I have written, please check me in the previous video. I have made a video how to take an input signal and all. So K, A. A means amplitude. So same input and the amplitude and you need to take FM. So it is also same input. Enter frequency. So enter frequency, divide the time axis and the amplitude axis. So uh, we will consider this as a graph and this will be the time and this will be the amplitude. We need to define this one. For t, what I will do is, I have already have the value of k, a and fm. So assume it k it as 3 and a as 5 and fm as 10. So assume I have taken a random value. So I will define t as so after doing this, so fm is equal to 10, t is equal to 0 to 1 by fm star fm into k by fm and we will be defining y as the input signal as a cos of 2 pi fm t. As soon as you type, this will be calculated in the following manner. So here you can see here, it will take 0 from 0 to 1 by fm star fm. So 1 by 100 for this value and k by fm. So 3 by, how much is the fm 10? So 3 by 10 is 0.3. This will be taken 1 is to 0.01 is to 0.3. 
so which means here point zero one interval a matrix of t t matrix will be defined something like this point one and point two up to point three so this will be doing and by taking all these values for each of the value of fm it will find a value of y in such a way that for all of the values up to point three so in y we will do this one so one calculation i will show 5 into cos of 2 pi fm into t for point 1 let's say for point 1 it will calculate and it will put some result here and it will make point 2 and put result here up to this it will take up to 3 point 3 so this value will be stored in the y so we have the value of t as already shown in the t and in the y this calculated value to the plot t comma y as soon as we will plot there will be a graph plotted in such a way that t comma y with an input signal of amplitude 5 and in cycles 3 so this will be plotted as soon as you using the plot after the plot we need to label x axis, y axis and input signal. So that can be labeled by using x label, y label and input signal. So I will define a new variable fnq is equal to 2 times of fm. So we will defining fnq as 2 fm which is the right sampling criteria. So here also we will define fnq is equal to 2 fm. So this is the right sampling criteria. So I will choose an another sampling frequency which will be 3 by 4th of fnq. So which means that this is less than 2 fm. You are already seeing it will be less than 2 fm. So if you use 3 by 4 fnq. So and after getting t we will need to calculate y same as a cos of uh, 2 pi f, fmt. So this will be using as a formula. So after doing this one we need to again uh, subplot. So we will be plotting this. So we will be plotting t comma y as you are seeing code in that uh, final. So after doing plot we will do x as soon as we calculate the value of ys. So ys will be a matrix. After if we plot by using MATLAB we will get a wave something like this. So here it is sampled rightly for an input signal. You already know this will be an input signal. So this is an input signal and while sampling the how this signal will be lost. So only this point we will be get by using this calculation. So this is considered as an under case under modulation. So here we will use fs is equal to fnq and do all of the procedure as same as here. So same carrying this one plot stem x axis and y axis. If we sampled at the rate of 2 fm, the signal we got is a perfect signal. So we will get an output. So now for oversampling. For oversampling what we will do is we will do fnq is equal to. So we will just assume fs is equal to 10 times of fnq. So this will be a more than sufficient. After this we will be getting a graph will be like this with so many discrete points. So as if we are using stem we will get this. Guys so finally what I would like to tell is this will be divided into three types. So for right sampling fnq is equal to 2 fm. So for over sampling 10 times of fnq if it is less than like 3 by 4 fnq. So in this state the graph defined will be different. So that's why as this uh, sampling theorem is proved. That's it. If you like my video please give me a thumbs like and if you want more videos like this please subscribe to my, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.